So what's your favorite camera and why do you like it? Let me know. Hi guys, how's it going today? I just wanted to talk about, a, you know, a certain subject. I'm going to be starting a question of the week. So my first question for today is, what was your most favorite camera that you ever owned and why did you like it? I just think I brought this up because um, I want to get back to the basics of photography. I really want to think about why do we take pictures? And honestly, I think it's because in my heart anyway, in my mind, it's because I love taking pictures from the heart. I think that when we originally took pictures back in the day, it was to capture something important, capture a memory that was dear to us, something that really meant something or even a person. When you take a picture, you want it to last forever. That's originally what it was there for. Now we take pictures for everything. And I really think that we really need to, at least some of us, not everyone, but I think some of us need to understand why we take pictures and maybe get back down to the reason of it all. When a photo tells a story, it speaks from the heart. It shares a piece of who you are with the world. When someone looks at it, they see the beauty you saw. The period of time that will last forever frozen on a negative. Whether it's digital or film, it is forever a moment locked in time. It can never be forgotten and be shown for generations to come. Photography has always been to capture memories, but make sure they are memories that you will always be proud of for a lifetime. Share the inspiration that you hold inside and show the world what is out there that we don't always see. Travel far and wide to places that are not known let your heart show you the way, inspire you and others in every way. Be the light in the darkness and show them the beauty that is unnoticed. So maybe what we need to do, and for me, I need to do this, is go to a place that makes me happy and indulge every bit of that happy place. It could be the beach, it could be the mountains, it could be a desert, it could be a lake, it could be anywhere that you like to go that makes you have peace. And just take it all in, all of it, every single bit of that place, and understand what is around you, whether it's nature, the atmosphere, people, whatever makes you happy. And then, maybe photograph it because I feel like photos are the best when they are taken from the heart and when they tell a story when you tell a story with your photo you're also showing the world what you feel in that photo at least that's my thought anyway and every day I take a picture you know it teaches me something and it actually helps me get better at taking photos but the most important thing is to take the picture from your heart. Tell a story about it. Show the world around you, whether it's on Instagram or whether it's on social media. Um, just tell the people that are seeing the picture what the story is by using your heart. 
And I think that's the most important thing today. A lot of us don't print pictures anymore, unfortunately. We just don't print pictures anymore. And I think that has kind of taken away the whole aspect of photography in a way, because when we have pictures that we can hold in our hands and actually view and share with people in a different way, I think that means more than being able to share it on social media and to send it through a text message or anything like that, because that picture means something. That picture shows that we care enough to print it. Um, you know, you, you think about how photography used to be. Photography actually came from when they used to paint paintings back in the day of important people, important figures in our history who did something. They would paint portraits of them to show and represent who they were at certain times during their lives. Now, photography is just so used in so many different ways, the whole meaning of it is kind of washed. So, photographers, you know, there's professional photographers, and you can tell the difference between a snapshot and a real photo. You can, but everyone can take a picture now. That's the problem. But the whole thing is, is it done with the heart? Yeah, I can take a picture of my cat. But will it be a snapshot? Or will that picture show the love and caring side of my cat? There's a certain way to take a picture. And I think we all need to get back down to what that means and how we represent our pictures. Do we take it from our heart? Or do we just snap a picture just to show? And I know a lot of us, you know, we know how to do it. You know, there's a lot of professionals out there to just shoot the picture and they got the greatest camera in the world and a lot of megapixels and they know how to do it and that's fine. But why not try going out in the world and shooting photos from the heart? And you know what? There's another thing, it's like, okay, Maybe go take some photos on the street. Just do some street photography and kind of show the world around you. Show what people do not see every day. A lot of us are so mixed up in the world we live in, it's hard to see outside sometimes. So I think we all need to show each other Show everyone your passion, why you started photography. Go back to when you first started and think about what made you want to start photography. That's really why I'm asking that question. What was your favorite camera? Why did you like it? Honestly, it's, it's kind of like getting back to the grits of everything. When you first started as a photographer, what motivated you? What made you want to be a photographer? Was it the stars? Was it the sunsets? Was it portraits? You know, just all that. But what was the camera that made that happen? So in this video, I forgot to say what my favorite camera is. And to be honest, I have two favorite cameras. My Nikon D7000 and my Fuji X100S. So there you go. There you have it. My two favorites. All right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you all for watching and thank you for joining my channel. Welcome all new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel so I can show you more videos. And I hope you're all doing well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.